So it is outdoor cooking season. The weather is great and we're here cooking some chicken that we raised in our backyard on this rotisserie here. And these are Cornish game hens. We just split it in two and we're cooking it on this rotisserie. We use these skewers right here. And this is a Brazilian grill that we were introduced to by one of our friends. And we enjoy using this and cooking this way outdoors. It's fun and it's also delicious. And let me give you a close up look so you can see the deliciousness, the caramel color that it's turning into. The excess fat is released from the chicken and we're left with nice, tender, juicy meat. I enjoy this when the skin is crunchy. And let me just show you here what I mean by this is still moist. Look at that. Nice and moist still. Right? So it's properly cooked. Now I'm going to put it over here in this pirate dish just so it can sit for a little bit. And while it's here resting, I am going to head to the garden and we are going to grab some other stuff that we're going to pair up with this chicken and we're going to enjoy it on the patio tonight for dinner. Now I'm going to sit this right here so it stays nice and warm until I'm done harvesting food from the garden. And this right here is some summer squash. And I have a couple different varieties. I'm going to grab those and we're going to go wash them up and head to the kitchen and prepare them so we can put them on the grill. Now I'm going to go ahead and chop these summer squash up and I'm going to place them in a pirate's dish and sprinkle some herbs that I grew in my garden with some olive oil. So I usually make a mix with it. So I'm going to use some thyme. And of course, this is thyme that I grew in my garden. I harvested, dried it out, and now I get to put it in my cooking. I'm also going to use some rosemary in there, of course. Same thing, right from my garden. Harvested it and dried it out. Then I'm going to add a little bit of pink Himalayan salt with that. And then I'm going to add some olive oil. I'm going to make sure I crush it a little bit. It's really dry and crunchy, so I'm just going to crush it sprinkle it on my squash and then i'm gonna give it a good mix to make sure it's seasoned throughout the entire dish i'm gonna add a little more right here and this pink himalayan salt is not salty at all it's a very mild salt and then i'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil to this mix right here and give it a little shake so we can distribute the oil and the seasonings evenly in this pan and then I'm going to head out to the grill I'm going to use this grill pan right here and I'm just going to put the squash in the grill pan so it can cook up while I head out to the garden again and grab some greens so we're going to pair this chicken this roasted chicken with some grilled squash and some greens right from my garden the chicken is in there. I'm going to close the grill down so it cooks. There's not a whole lot of fire in there. There's not a whole lot of charcoal, so the fire won't be high at all. And so the chicken is in there. And I'm going to take this bowl and I'm going to head to the garden and harvest some greens so we can pair up this meal with a nice, delicious salad. So this pepper is already starting to blush. And it's my first pepper that I'm harvesting. There's also this sweet banana pepper right here that's starting to blush. And we're also going to be having this with our green salad tonight for dinner. Now let's head on over to the greens, the section where we have our greens. And it's going to be some kale first. Some of the leaves are eaten up by the bugs, but nevertheless, we all have to eat. We can share. I'm going to take these, give them a good wash, make sure that there's no bugs in it and it's going to be part of my dinner either way then i'm going to grab these other greens i have here just greens a mix of different types of greens and some of them are what i would say 
spicy has a little kick to it this is some mizuna here and this is going to be a really nice delicious mix then we are going to head over to these red onions here that i harvested earlier we're going to definitely add one of these to that salad and i enjoy a really colorful salad so i'm going to add this cauliflower in it it's going to give it some good color and we're going to head into the deck and grab some lettuce and i do have different varieties of lettuce growing here and of course lettuce is cut and come again so i'm going to go ahead and just snap some of the leaves off get some different colors in here to add to that and we are going to head inside and we're going to prepare our salad and I have been harvesting for the entire season so far from these greens and they keep growing and growing but this I think is enough so we're going to head inside but before I do now I can actually enjoy some of the herbs that I grew in my planter garden herb challenge because the challenge is over and as you can see they are still doing pretty well they're nice and green everything is growing they are loving the weather and i can actually get to keep harvesting from this as the season go along i'm also going to grab some basil some chinese pink celery and some italian parsley from in here and head inside so i can flavor my salad with that and we can't forget the garlic that i grew in my garden and already harvested i'm just going to grab one of these there we go and now that I've washed all these greens up, I'm just going to chop them and I'm going to start making my salad. Guys, ain't nothing better than to be able to grow your own food or harvest it right fresh from your garden and enjoy it. Nice and fresh. Everything here comes from my garden that I grew myself. So it's a proud moment and I am definitely going to be enjoying all of this food. I know it's going to be delicious because I really like a nice fresh crunch in my salad and I like it flavorful also. So the basil and the parsley, no, there's only one thing that I'm putting in this salad that I didn't grow myself and it's a mango. Like that mango is so tropical and it would add such a nice flavor to my salad. So guess what? Mango it is. And I won't be adding any salad dressing to my salad because I'm adding all these different flavors in there. I have the crunch going in there so it's gonna be good this already looks so delicious so let me go show you the finishing touch grab my plate let's go see what's going on on the grill So these veggies are ready. Look at it. See that? It's ready. It's not burnt or anything because the fire is not high and it's properly seasoned. So we're going to go plate our dinner and go sit down and enjoy. I should have came out with a pot holder. I could just take it off. Ooh. This is going to be delicious. Then we have the chicken. And this is a lot. This is a half of a Cornish game hen. I like it burnt a little bit. Am I the only one that likes a little bit? Of burn it's not necessarily burn but it's like caramelized a little bit because it's not dark dark it's just brown yeah, there's a little left and and let's go to the table honey ready to eat 
puppy is ready to eat. You are gonna love this. Uh, this is all from our garden except the mangoes. It looks good, I was just gonna ask. <laughs> and the mangoes are there because we don't have any ripe tomatoes yet. I know I'm putting it on my plate first, but there we go. It smells good too. Yeah, it's gonna taste better. Let me make sure I give you some mangoes. And some red onions. Yeah. What's that? Looks good. Okay. Enjoy. I will. Cheers. To dinner. To dinner. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time right here on Fifi's Journey. I'm about to dig in.